times this week, we're going to have a second week looking at shun endings. Now, we looked at shun endings last week. Which shun endings did we look at? The the C-I-A-N jobs. Good. C-I-A-N, which, as you rightly say, is usually used for jobs. Can you give me some examples? Politician. Politician. Electrician. Electrician. Musician. Musician. Magician. Magician. Beautician. Beautician. Good one. Dietician. Yeah, lots and lots of jobs end in C I A N. What was the other shun ending that we did last week? T I O N. T I O N. Good, and that also makes the shun sound at the end of a word. T I O N. Now, unfortunately, with a lot of shun endings, we just have to learn them. There are a few rules, but not really good, clear rules like the C I A N for jobs. So sometimes you just have to learn them. But we will look through today at little things that we can remember to think, oh, it's more likely to be this than it is this. So your best bet. So for our shun endings, we're going to look at S-I-O-N endings. And sometimes, although not always, these are the endings that we put on words that end in either D or S-E. So I've started this off. Invade would become invasion. Okay, that follows the rule. Thinking about World War II, explode would become explosion. explosion. Demonstrating wrong with your hands, yeah, they just sort of, yeah. So before COVID, if two people had not noticed each other in the corridor, when, in the days when we weren't two metres apart, they might have collided if they weren't looking carefully. Good, okay. So, are there any others? Yes. If you want to make your house bigger, mm. extend, and to make the shun end, then you would? Extension. Extension. my best bet. It's a shun ending. It's not a job. What's my best bet? And you can think of the root word and then put the S-I-O-N on there. Okay? Right. The other thing we're going to look at today is our year five, six spelling words. We'll just look at one today and then we'll look at the other one tomorrow. And today I'm going to look at committee. And I want you to tell me what you notice about committee. And I'm hoping that everybody will notice something because it's got my favourite rule in there. Good. It's got amazing examples of short vowel, double a consonant. Yeah? You think of the vowels A, E, I, O, U. If there is a short vowel sound, then it's A. Say it with me. A, A, E, O, O. That's the short vowel sound, the baby sound. How come there's two E's? We're going to have a look at that in a minute. Okay? So, we've got the short vowel sound. What does a long vowel sound sound like? Well, it's not like capital letter, like A, A, E, I, O, E. Yeah, quite posh, quite formal. So, say it in a posh voice. A, E, I, O, U. If you look at the O in Kofmiti, it's a short vowel sound, isn't it? Kofmiti. It's not Kofmiti. 
己。对 ，OK。再一，呀，手抱三个龙三，抱三，五，手七啊，三，八，米，七，啊，那一，就是 because it's an e sound on the end. Okay, so I'm emphasizing the e on the end. Good. So we've got two examples. Short vowel, double the consonant. Short vowel, double the consonant. What is a committee? Anybody know? Is it by something you're committed to do? It comes from the same root word. So you've sort of got the right idea, but that's not quite what it means. But well done. Yes, it is. A committee, you're right, is a group of people trying to organise something, run something. So at school we're lucky we've got a really, really good FWR and they have an FWR committee that organise things and run things and do things for the school really, really well. So that's a good example of a committee, a group of people. We have, in a way, our school council is a little bit like a committee. We have people on the school council that have different roles, different jobs that they will take on. It's a little bit like a committee. So they do things, they run things, they organise things. Okay, so we've got committee, we've got S I O N shun endings. And tomorrow we're going to look at a different shun ending and we'll look at the other five, six words.